Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2. Today with us we have yet another Kingdom of Steel tournament presented by Race Design allowing us to give $375 to the winners which we appreciate a lot. And here we are into the game and we're going to be seeing Manu Military playing first DFL on a Vanguard income versus uh, Erwin Rommel playing Fort Falsham Jäger on a balance income. And actually, I'm going to put the, the, the game on pause here because I want to see what Manu Military on a Vanguard income, this time we're not getting it wrong like in the first video. Um, I want to see how he did his deployment. Now, remember that the Kingdom of Steel tournament has uh, players play... Oh, look how the maps actually follows around. That's cool. I, <laughs> I never noticed that before. Anyway... Um, yeah, the, the Kingdom of Steel tournament, people take whatever division they want from their army they built themselves. So with 30 points, they have to build a roster of a minimum of 15 division. Uh, there, there was a tier list made uh, at that effect, and people choose, um, and each you know division tier list costs points. So anyway, um, yeah, so... Uh, noobs can choose to use their best division against uh, better players and better players would you know probably want to take lesser division so as to when they get up in the tournament they can still use good division so it's all relative obviously to each player um, but yeah okay so many military as a vanguard income will have to push really really hard uh, he's going to have some FFI partisans coming around here. He's going to have a commandant, a leader there. With a lot of legionnaires, pioneers, bimp who have bazookas. Um, legion, legionnaires, uh, sapar pioneers. And with some M8 and a Sherman. So I think, um, I think in a vanguard income, I think you'd want to go all the way down this road. Everyone, just everyone go down this road. And you unload when you see an enemy. And then you kind of, you know, force the fight in this crossroad here. So by forcing the fight here, the people here are quite useless. If they do push and capture this like, it's going to be momentarily. Because uh, chances are you'll be winning around here with all your forces. And then as your reinforcement, like the M4, comes in slow slowly... But as he comes in, the, the front line will balance itself out. And then you can safely ignore these guys the entire game. Everyone that's on the hill. Although, maybe putting in infantry just to check. But as a Vanguard player, you really want to push hard. You want to destabilize your enemy by doing so. Anyway, he's going to have some FFI partisans around here. That's great. Uh, machine gun and a AT gun. Okay. FFI partisan there. Machine gun, machine gun, yeah, I guess I could see a machine gun here, but I think it would have been better probably right here in the open shoot at uh, people in here. But anyway, Pioneer is going to go here as well, and then he's going to have a lot of FFI partisan coming in for this area. M3 gun coming in here, and some infantry troops with a M10, so I think he's making a, a grave mistake here. Now, you know, your opponent is playing on balance, so chances are he's going to be on the defensive. And so that allows you to be really, really, well, to spread your defense thin. When I play Vanguard or even sometimes Maverick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a single unit there. And then I'd put a single unit here. And then I'd put maybe two or three units around here. Uh, and then I would push this entire road with everyone. There would be a Sherman. There would be an M10, a M8, probably an anti-air uh, unit as well. Then you can put all your partisans over here and make sure they go all the way here to the spawn and to these forests and buildings. And, and these three here, the trifecta of crossroad here, uh, one partisan hidden in each. You know, you really want to overwhelm. You want to capture the spawn road. And you want to be fighting for this one as well. So that the enemy can just, you know, cross. And then it'll be stuck there. And as soon as you got this road, then you can swift and 
call your reinforcement in here and actually attack from the side and that will be very devastating for your enemy because he'll have to fight in here rather than you know fight here and so he won't be allowed to really push you uh to your spawn here because he'll have to pour in troops in these forests and um and defend anyway this is just my thoughts obviously our opponent here well i mean erwin rommel has actually a lot of troops here and these could all be safely ignored if you just push through the crosswalk um <laughs> Well, for a time, you know, the enemy might actually come back to fight you here. But I don't think most opponents would do that. Anyway, uh, some defensive unit here. He's not even trying to go for that. Um, he's going to take these by coming through this road, which is weird. Usually, you'd want to come here. And over here, he's going to be coming a lot in here and here. So, um, an all right defensive deployment. But enough talk. Let's take a look at the battle. Stug M42 is coming in. Nice little guy. They don't have machine guns though. So it makes them a little bit less uh, profitable. Parachutisti, Pioneers. Not a lot of uh, FS Jaggers. They are quite expensive, especially for A face. Oh, he makes them all unload there. Oh, my lord. That, I think, I think it was a mistake from uh, Ir Irwin should have kept going. But then again, Manu did not push the middle. Had he pushed the middle, he would have killed all of this with the M8. And then, I mean, there's no contest there. That, oh, my lord. I'm, I don't like, I don't like casting games like that. Um, because it just makes me want to... To do it myself. Um, and I mean, I say that I have, I've done it against... Yeah, you know, you go to QP, you practice for tournament, you completely obliterate your opponent. Um, and it's 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 okay, because you're trying hard in QP. So, it you know, it is what it is. But so when you got to practice for tournament, then you got to practice for the tournament. All right, so a lot of uh, well, he will he will capture this. It's just gonna take him a whole lot longer than like he'd probably already be here by then. Pioneers unloading in the open is never a good idea. I'm I don't like how he's calling in reinforcement for this area. You already got a machine gun that's gonna cut any infantry walking through. And he's got all these reinforcements when his big push is here. And I don't understand why he's doing that. And I don't understand why he's not moving with everything he's got. I guess he's trying to be logical about it. Whereas I would be uh, a spam fucker. <laughs> yes. Let's call it that. I would just be, you know, spamming and spamming and spamming the reinforcement road. And like, look, this is entirely free you you just run in here cut these guys off unload in these parts stop reinforcement from coming nice uh nice uh, reinforcement by the way erwin rommel is calling in um panzer twos spw ab43 over here the sapar are dying because obviously they're in the open by themselves parachu dc will take care of the half track and this will close. And unfortunately, there there keeps there is a reinforcement keeps coming in, and it shouldn't. It really shouldn't. It really shouldn't. Because you don't want to be holding the front line in Vanguard. You want to be pushing the front line, and you want to be dictating the fight as with um, a Maverick income. We're gonna zoom in here because I really want to see those. Panzer twos in action. These are my favorite tank of them all. And here we are. Nice. Look at that tank. Nice support tank. Nice support tank. Oh man. The, the Sherman died. From who? From what? Something died. 
Is that oh from the stoop maybe? Oh man, this is sad. 3M8 coming in, Spitfires coming in for the SPW. Um, might be a good idea to try to destroy that. Uh, I don't know. They're not that powerful, but they did kill the Sherman apparently. Maybe it was these mortars. Over here, we're still having reinforcement coming in. I do not like that one bit. And Manu really needs to to pull up because Fort Falsham Jaeger is going to be real dangerous soon. I don't know about these. Nice shot here. Uh, there's nothing to push, unfortunately, though. Partisan on this road is going to be super annoying. Otherwise, uh, most partisans died on their way to destination. Come on, man. You already half of your income gone. You know, you still got a chance because it's 125 to 130 in phase B. Phase C is going to be a real, real hard. Oh, man. Finally, the first reinforcement we see coming in here after 5 minutes 30 seconds. Back 40 will, will die. FS Jagger, 40 points infantry will also die. Oh boy, that is bad. Oh, that is great for Manu, though. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. oh. Sad. Ah, oh, my lord. Erwin is actually capturing this. Ah, oh, man. He needs to hurry up. These guys do have snipers. Uh, leaders, snipers should come in here with the M8 and half track. And get some side shot. There's a Tiger He, so I guess side shot's not going to change anything. But Tiger He's going to be in a real dangerous position here. Um, effectively, what Rommel should do is move up here and get the Tiger sitting here. And stop the flow of reinforcement in order to capture both of these flags. All three of these flags. This is not looking good for that M10 with an open top canopy. Will it will take a lot of damage from these mortars? God forbid one actually enters the canopy. A little bit damage. Oh no, that's actually the bolts. Um, you can see it is rusty, so it did take some damage from these dudes. Oh boy. It's not going good. It is definitely not going good. Sniper against Flamer. Come on. He's on the move order. I guess uh, I guess that's good for him. After he's going to go down to the Pencil Shrek. But Pencil Shrek is going to go down to the... Oh my god. I hope they're not going to throw their TNT. They didn't, but that was close. Okay, Sherman versus Sherman and M3 versus Tiger. This guy refused to shoot. Why? Oh, because he's on a return fire, effective fire, and that's the only time I've seen this being effective. Oh no, he decided to take the shot on the side shot. Now he's going to die. He could have made it had he been on return fire. And there's another M4 that's going to die just the same way. Manu sees that. Oh, Bazooka. Oh, nice. He didn't kill it, but he will. That's an expensive loss. And that's you don't bring a Tiger when, there's, when you're being overwhelmed. Uh, uh, 40 points infantry just killing themselves. Oh, man. They're already half... Oh, my lord. Like, yeah, he's spinning down the Pioneers like nothing, but there's an M8 here. And there you go. Oh, boy. More Jaggers, more Tigers coming in. This is just more points down the drain. Fourteen ten for Manu. Uh, as he recaptures this flag here. 
There's no one there. Uh, there's pioneers that do nothing. I mean, you've got to push. When you're playing on Vanguard, you've got to push. Had he come here with the... And it's a recon. Uh, you've got to take some chances. That's the problem. If you don't take any chances, nothing will ever come. Uh, these guys are not going to shoot because they're on uh, a slope terrain. Which is total bullshit. But I guess it plays in uh, Manu's favor. Hills are really hard to take because of that bug. Like, I understand them not shooting because they don't have the elevation. What I don't understand is why they stop. That's the bug. There's no way you can tell me that this is not a bug and it's intended as a purpose. Like, your unit will stop because technically he could shoot before the mechanic was implemented. Now that the mechanic is implemented, he can't shoot because of the alignment mechanic but the bug make it that he stops you know whereas you whereas uh, anyway anyway you get you get what i'm saying um sniper bazooka team die there's another bimp here should definitely take the shortcut and come destroy this uh this guy's not uh my god's not even shooting back Lots of reinforcement coming for these uh, these woods. Two star Sapa Pioneer with some Legionnaire should definitely get rid of anything here. 12 12. And we're in phase B. Wow, I would be so happy if I was Rommel right now. Oh, this guy, see how he's on holding fire? He's on effective fire, so he's 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 not going to shoot entirely his machine gun. It's weird, uh, but that's what that's what this mechanic does. And and that's what you get for using Eugen. Eugen is mechanic. They it's a half ass work they did here and um, they, they keep doing half ass work. And this is what it leads when you use their mechanic. It fucks you up. So stop doing it. Just stop. Stop using effective fire. Alright. Now we can pass to something else. More recon. M M3 a a M3 A3 will be able to get rid of this uh, unless they decide not to shoot again. I'm guessing he selected the. Uh... Yeah, all right. Nice support from the M4 A4. He's gonna turn around and uh, kill that dude before he can even fire his Panzer Faust. 3 star unit uh, across the map. I like seeing that. It's always a good thing. These are CQC infantry, so they're not that scary in my opinion. Um for the for the for the situation here. Uh, you know, you've, you've got a M10, you've got long-range infantry. These guys don't even have flames. There's Legionnaire, there's Flamers, there's Pioneers. So these will all throw bazookas at these guys, and these guys won't be able to do anything. I don't think that Bim's going to win the fight. Uh, but maybe. 2 Thompson, 8 P-17. R.9. R.8. I don't know. No. He's especially not with the other Jaeger. Now he will lose. 
Because you see, if you don't put all your cards in the same avenue on Vanguard, that's what you end up with. Having to fight a little bit here, then you, you gotta fight a little bit here. No, just forget about this and push all down the road. Shock and surprise. Storm Panzer IV coming in. Hellcats are being purchased. Really expensive plane. Hopefully they will do something. Ah, there you go. Now he's pushing. This could very well kill the Tiger with 127 mil rockets. Four of them. There you go. Kills it one shot. There you go. Nag at 4,500s coming in. A little bit too late. These Sapar Pioneer, they do have uh, rifles, so they're going to be shooting. They're not doing a lot of... Like, uh, this guy should be starting to walk, use the flamethrowers. Another anti-air coming in. It's going to retreat that lightning for sure. If only this guy would get a better line of sight. He does have 2k range after all. Sixteen eight for Manu. How did Erwin let that happen? I don't know. He actually lost. He had everything. Um, he was too aggressive. That's the thing. And now he's piling in because uh, you know he was way too aggressive around here. Imagine that for a second. He'd sit his tiger here, or just an anti-tank weapon doesn't matter. Sit in it like it, there's there's no big stuff here. Sit an anti-tank weapon around here, have a machine gun here or whatever, and just consider this lost for the time being. And then you know he could have put all of his time and energy into pushing here something he was already being successful at. Um, Alright, he got him out of the forest. Now he got seen. It gets destroyed. It's... Oh my god. It's a repeat offense. It's a repeat offense. This guy's gonna have to remove himself. Oh wow, that hurts. That really hurts him. <laughs> Because they are some strong planes in the air. And how much is that? 40? 85. Woo! 85. These guys are just dying one by one. To the Sherman? Oh boy. Alright, Sherman versus Panther. Sherman doesn't shoot because he's on effective fire. He doesn't shoot, but he did take away the target from one he could shoot. Go figure. Well, there you go, folks. I think Manu will will win. Rommel cannot. He just keeps buying expensive stuff. Um, he needs small stuff. He needs lots of them. Good uh, good sniper position here. Taking care of the uh, 57 mil. Two head dead coming in. One M3 gun. This guy's gonna die around here. There you go. Alright. There's an M3 hiding here. Uh... Uh... Move it here <laughs> and kill transport. Okay, 18-6. Who would have thunk? Five minutes ago, I wouldn't have believed it if you told me that he, that Manu was going to make some huge progress on the left. It didn't seem likely. Uh, but uh, yet he did, and on both sides, both sides he actually, he actually did.
Ah, uh, doesn't shoot. Why do people do that? At least shoot. You're getting shot at. Uh, this effective fire thing should cancel it. So it should cancel it, uh, itself once you're getting fired upon. This is just ridiculous. Alright, another flag captured. 18-6 again. Yeah. Walk. <laughs> Walk across. You know there is nothing because of the front line. Uh, this this is a done game. This is doneer than done. Um, good job on both players for trying. Uh, well, Manu did win both, so he will advance further into the tournament uh, with four less division than uh, next round. He's going to have four less division to choose from, and DFL is one of the great. So it's going to be a little bit harder for Manu next round. He's going to have to rely on. Some of his less exotic division. All right, here we are. 25 to 15. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. But it's not great. Look at that. Wow. Wow. <sighs> FFI partisans were really useful there. Uh, M4 did good. They all did good. They all did good. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And um, follow me up on YouTube if you want to see more of these videos. Thanks for watching again. And have a great day. Goodbye.